guys, welcome to Talent Sprint. I am Rohit and here is your daily dose of aptitude skills. In this session, we are going to look at how to find an approximate square root, which is a common question that we generally come across in various bank exams. Right? Let us take an example to understand this. Let us say we have to find out the square root of 6000. Now we very well know that this is not a perfect square, right? had it been a perfect square, would have followed the original technique that is how to get the square root of a given number which we have seen in one of our earlier videos. But 6000 is not a perfect square since it is followed by three zeros, right? there are three trailing zeros here so it cannot be a perfect square. And in general also when a question is asked under approximations, we have to follow this approximate square root technique to get the required answer. So let us see how do we get the answer for square root of 6000, what is the approximate square root of 6000. Now all we need to do here is first find out the nearest perfect square that we know. It need not be the nearest but something closer to 6000 which is easy uh, for us to remember. For example, uh, here we know that 6400 is a perfect square, right? square root of 6400 is 80, square root of 6400 is 80. Right. So, we can start working from 6400, square root of 6400 to get the square root of 6000. What do we do? Now, square root of 6400 is 80. Definitely, square root of 6000 should be less than 80. Why is it so? Because 6000 is less than 6400. So, we can say the square root of 6000 will be equal to 80 minus. Now, here is the most important part. What do we subtract? Look at the difference between these two numbers. The given number is 6000 and what we have considered is 6400. The difference between these two is 400. So, we have to subtract that 400 divided by 2 times the result that we have got in the first step. That is 2 into 80. Are you able to follow? First take the square root that you know, the nearest square root that you know, right? Like 80 in this case. We have considered square root of 6400 which is 80 minus the difference between the two numbers divided by 2 times the square root that we have taken earlier. So, 80 minus 400 by 2 into 180 uh, is 160. 400 by 160 can be taken as 10 by 4, right? This is 14 to 10 and 14 to 4. 10 by 4 is 2.5. So, 80 minus 2.5 is 77.5. So, we can say that the approximate square root of 6000 is 77.5 or 78. The same question can also be answered when we take something lesser than 6000. Like in the first case, we have considered 6400 which is more than 6000. But let us see how to do when we start with something like 4900, right? 4900. We know that square root of 4900 is 70. So, we can say square root of 6000 will be equal to 70 plus. Now, I need not explain you why we are taking plus this time because the number 6000 is more than 4900. So, its square root should be more than 70. 70 plus what? The same concept. Take the difference between the two values that is 4900 and 6000. How much is the difference? 1100 divided by 2 times 70. So, 1100 divided by 2 into 70. 2 into 70 is 140. So, zeros anyway get cancelled. We are left with 110 by 14. 110 by 14 can be approximately taken as 8 because 14 into 8 is 112. So, here 70 plus approximately 8 is 78. So, we see that square root of 6000 is 78 like what we have got in the earlier case. So, this is how we can calculate approximate square roots by considering a value that is either less than the given number or more than the given number and a perfect square. All you need to do is take the nearest square more or less, right? Let us say the square root of which is a, then a plus or minus the difference, the difference between the value that is given and the square that you have considered divided by 2 times a. So, here is the technique to find out approximate square roots. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you have followed this and you will use it the next time you have to calculate approximate square root. We will come up with more such videos on aptitude skills. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. I will see you in the next session.